Cambodia is on the brink of witnessing the birth of a significant infrastructure marvel, the Drexen Funan Canal. Spanning an impressive 180 kilometers, this canal is poised to emerge as a vital conduit linking the capital city of Phnom Penh with the Gulf of Thailand, with an anticipated completion date set for 2028. Its inception heralds a transformative shift in Cambodia's transportation landscape, potentially diminishing the country's reliance on Vietnamese ports and catalyzing a cascade of economic and environmental ramifications. Deputy Prime Minister Sun Chanto of Cambodia highlights that currently, approximately 33% of Cambodian goods necessitate transit through the Mekong River to reach Vietnam for exportation. However, with the imminent realization of the Drexen Funan Canal, this figure is projected to plummet significantly to a mere 10%. This seismic reduction translates to a staggering 70% decrease in dependence on Vietnamese ports. Such a substantial realignment in Cambodia's export strategy is poised to empower the nation to engage in international trade with greater autonomy and self-reliance. The completion of the Drexen Funan Canal is expected to bring significant economic benefits to Cambodia. It will shorten the distance for textiles and raw materials from Phnom Penh to the sea, reducing transportation costs and enhancing export competitiveness. Additionally, the canal is anticipated to boost Cambodia's tourism industry by attracting more tourists for sightseeing, thereby promoting local economic development. However, the construction of the canal faces various challenges, primarily concerning environmental issues. Vietnamese authorities and environmentalists have expressed concerns about potential environmental damage, including the displacement of populations, loss of agricultural land, and impact on wetlands in the Mekong Delta, a crucial rice-producing region for millions of people. Sun Chanto mentioned that despite the canal's intended use for irrigation and fisheries, the volume of water it will mobilize is comparatively insignificant. With a potential discharge of up to 5 cubic meters per second, the canal's impact on the environment is deemed minimal when juxtaposed with the Mekong River's capacity of up to 8,000 cubic meters per second. He likened the canal's environmental impact to that of a straw, underscoring its relatively minor influence. Moreover, Cambodia has informed the Mekong River Commission of its canal construction plans and is prepared to furnish the commission with additional information as required. Beyond environmental challenges, the construction of the Drexen Funan Canal has also encountered political and geopolitical hurdles. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingxiao View, the Business Bridge.